Hello guys and welcome to a new series, Sky Factory 3. Yep, that's right, Sky Factory just came out with a new updated version and we're gonna wreak a little havoc and chaos and play some Sky Factory. So as we're waiting to log in here, we have worked just a bit on the start because we had technical difficulties with our microphone and buttons and things didn't work correctly so I had to fix them all real quick so we're logging in still slowly the spiral of death right there it says wait still alright here we go all right, day zero on our beautiful island. That will load eventually. All right, so we are here on the wonderful Angel Island. And we need to grab some of these platforms here. We're going to keep an eye on the microphone right now. Every time I push a certain button, it decides to mute my microphone. Which does get a little irritating after a while. So, what we're doing is we're just expanding the platform a little bit. Just kind of getting, getting everything ready. Because we're going to need some room to skyblock. Alright, I, th I think that's going to be good. So what we're going to do is oh, crack that down. Alright, so in Sky Factory 3 to get a sapling to grow, you don't need any bone mill. You don't need any of uh, the fa wonderful stuff that you normally need. So what you can do is you just dance for the trees. That's right. This is ridiculously funny. And come on, don't show me up here. There we go. Nice big tree. And in between, all you have to do is you can sit here and hold something in your hand and punch log or something and boom they all come down at once this uh, does only work if you have an appropriate tool oh, no oh look at that I am completely wrong I like when I'm wrong all I had was something in my hand and everything came down it was nice so what we're gonna do though once my tree dances, my tree dancing skills on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a thing called a crooks. A crooks gives you a greater chance of getting a sapling, if I'm not mistaken, and also silkworms. Silkworms are very important in Skyblock because that's how you get string. So we're gonna go ahead and grab all four of these bad boys. All it was was a bunch of sticks. Uh, four of them to be precise. So we're gonna hold the button. And bam! Look at that. We got food, we got our worms, and we got an apple. I'm right. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and punch this tree with an apple. Now watch it come down. Doink. Interesting, huh? So we're gonna dance for the tree again and back to square one now we got three saplings awesome so I'm gonna do this a little bit more guys I'm gonna take a quick break um, in between because literally I'm gonna be doing this for like the next 20 minutes and I don't want to bore you guys to death so let me go ahead and get some resources so we can come back and learn how to skyblock Hello guys, and we are back again, and uh, from the looks of it, we've made some progress from one little sapling that we saw earlier. Well, um, 
we got some food trees because using this Ving Miner ability tears through our hunger like crazy. Um, it's it's pretty intense. So what I did is I converted um, some saplings into apple trees. These apple trees are growing very steadily and uh, gi giving me a little food. I, I got about seven apples out of this already. So nothing too crazy. I I got some bread out of the starter the starter kit, and that's about it so far. Um, so why I was doing that I'm like well shoot I can't harvest these trees because these are my food sources so I moved the platform out a little bit made another little farm and boom got got all the stuff going so here's a few things that you guys have missed it's all these barrels what Nico what are you doing okay these wooden barrels I have left out uncovered and the rain came down and poured in these. This is really important because this is how we're going to get infinite water and everybody knows about an infinite water trick all you need is two buckets. The next thing I did because I was having difficulties letting it rain and I got some crucibles out and got them to basically you put um, some leaves in them and they'll turn into water over time. Just like our compost barrels, these wooden barrels yet again but there is a skeleton over there. Shh. Don't tell it I'm here. Ow. See ya. Alright. Quit interrupting. So, we got these compost barrels over here. And these compost barrels, um, I covered up because I didn't want them to fill up with water. All we need to do is we take these leaves that we've been harvesting for like the last couple hours and we get them in here and we just fill up these barrels. What this is going to do is this is going to create dirt um, which dirt we will take here in a little bit and we'll sieve down and hopefully get some stone and get a crucible going. So let's get that all started up there. Boom just like that. Let's go ahead and put our leftovers back. And if you can see at the top, Willa, there, the very top box, it says composting dirt 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, and done. So all the way down and give it like just a few seconds. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, too quick. Oh well. So basically, this is just making dirt. This is what we're going to have to constantly keep doing and there is a way to automate this um, once we get a little bit of iron. You saw it in my um, Infinity, um, Infinity Skyblock series which basically you hop around top, hop around bottom and a couple chests and it'll just sit there and do its own thing for however long you got. But with that said we need a way to shake this all down. So we're going to come over here and we're going to just beat these trees up and get some string. Lots and lots of string. Just using our trusty crook here. I'm not a crook. Get it? Get it? I thought it was funny. So get these trees down. This uh, iron axe actually came with the starter pack. Let's just go ahead and do this old school. Careful there. And don't want the platform to disappear under us. Alright, so let's go ahead and eat real fast. And, of course, every time we walk away, we will plant new trees. So we got this string. We're going to go ahead and put these in our storage containers. Um, and, you know what, let's get our saplings in there too. So basically what this is, guys, is a basic drawer. Basic drawers are part of the storage drawers mod, just to get us a little bit of storage going on. Um, we can do 30 stack or 32 stack for a big drawer, or we went with the smaller ones that can do eight stacks for a drawer. And basically the crafting recipe for this is just a couple chests and wood. Real simple to make. And then we got some nice little storage going on. Nothing too fancy, crazy. 
but that way we can get our stuff going. So our next object, um, yet again in Skyblock world, is X Nilo. Where are you? Wow, can I not find what I am looking for now? Okay, let's try this the other way. Oak. Heavy oak. Huh. Apparently I get to old school it again and learn how to skyblock myself. So, Sims. We are looking at a SIEV. SIEV. Heavy oak. Oh, is this? Wow. So, alright, so we need uh, five oak and two sticks. Uh, one, nope, try that again. One, two, three, four, five and some sticks. So, oh, do I have any sticks on me? No, no sticks on me. Try again, boss. Alright, here we go. So, we got our sticks. Um, that is not wood. And we have our sieve. Now, there's no mesh. Um, Let's see, what is mesh? That's a good question here. Got nine of these bad boys here. Got our stick. And string mesh. Okay, I'm okay with that. All right, why? Let's look at mesh. Apparently there might be Flint mesh, iron mesh, and diamond mesh. All right, guys, I'm going to have to look this up to figure out exactly the difference of these meshes inside these machines. So give me a second. Let me do uh, some quick research on this, and I'll be right back to explain it. Alrighty, guys, I am back. Um, like I just looked up online, um, there's not too much data on it, but other than it gives you a greater chance the the higher level of a, of the mesh that's in it. You can also enchant it, which is really cool, like fortune stuff like that, um, which gives you a better better opportunities of getting other stuff. So let's go ahead and get our dirt back uh, being processed here. Perfect. All right. And then what I'm going to do, come over here and grab these. Can I get a lot, bro? Thank you. All right. I'm going to just extend this platform out just a bit. I don't feel comfortable with my stuff flying off into the void. That would be bad, they say. All right. So that's done. We'll put those back and then get our dirt. I've been very busy. I have 61 dirt and I am ready to sieve. But the problem is it won't take just normal dirt. What's up with that? That's right. It takes heavy compressed items. Um, so let's look at that. Look at that animation. That's pretty cool. They redid that. Nice. We're just going right along and busting this down. Keep it going. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Okay. So we got an oak seed, a dark oak, regular oak. We got some grass, which is awesome. Melons for food here later on with carrots um, and some wheat seeds. Pumpkin, potato, sugarcane, birch. Give me that birch back. I'm gonna put this over here. What is that? 
Those are grass seeds. I'm going to put that over here. Because I'm going to put my tree up there. Okay. And then spruce. Spruce. Jungle. Jungle. And that's pretty much what I see. Except this is what we're after. We are after the cobblestone. Alright, so we can sit here, break this down. Um, we need some wood. Grab a piece of wood there. And some sticks. Two sticks. Some cobble. And we get a cobble hammer. Now, since I'm just starting off, I want to be very careful on how we do this but what we're going to do we're just going to break it down one two three four and then we can even vein mine this oh my gosh that is so nice except when you don't get them all in a line all right let's try this again vein mine boom okay i wanted this dust the reason why i wanted this dust boom 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 Boom. One, two, three, and four. We just got clay. And if we smack the clay, we get all the clay that we need. Now we need um, we need more bone meal. And the only way to get this is to start a monster farm, to be honest. You know, but we're gonna save that for another episode building a monster farm so just to recap in this episode guys what we did is we started with one sapling made a big platform and then in this platform as we started creating we started waiting for some water with some oak barrels we cut down a bunch of saplings we used some of the saplings to create shears we sheared down the oak trees and then put them in the barrels over here to make dirt. Once we got the dirt, we compressed it down and we sieved it out. And we got cobblestone. Nice. That's real nice. But next episode, we're going to make a cobblestone generator, um, which is just very basic, getting some lava and stuff. But to do that, we will need some extra bones. We will need a monster farm because bone meal is going to be very important to make porcelain. And dudes, we're going to end this here. If you guys have enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos and updates.